This word today is essentially for everybody, but especially those that share the gospel, share the faith with unbelievers or with people that don't know Christ yet. You have to look at what is your intent? What is, uh, why are you sharing the gospel? Um, what's your motivation? If it's, if you're motivated by duty, um, maybe you're earning brownie points or it's just something good to do, it's the wrong motivation. Your motivation should be out of pure love for the cross and for the people themselves. They're lost. Um, I've seen dozens and dozens of street preachers out in the streets, and they're actually doing more harm to the gospel and to the people than any good. They'll come out and they've got a megaphone and, you're liars and thieves and murderers. You're going to hell in the bandbasket. It's pretty much like that gospel. But never have I seen Jesus, and it's recorded in the scriptures, condemn the sinner. Tell the sinner they're on their way to hell and uh, condemn them and bring out a sword and slay them. The only time Jesus, I read uh, in the scriptures, that he quoted uh, judgment was on the religious people. The one that knew the way and had a, had a form of godliness, but... They didn't know God. They didn't know the Father. He, he actually came out and says, the devil is your father. They were the religious people that said they knew the way, but they didn't. They made things hard for people to get into the kingdom. So when you go out and share the gospel and the love of God, you're the only light they see. And if the light you bring is a sword to slay them and tell them they're going to hell or God's judgment lays upon them, no one's going to want to receive that. Nobody. Think back when, before you came to Christ. You were blind, naked, wretched, miserable sinner. You were vile. You were wrapped up either in drunkenness, drugs, um, sexual deviance, darkness. And you played to be like, you're really cool. You got it under control. You were lost, man. Think back how you were before you came to Christ, before the light came to you. Either somebody came to you and shared the love of God, the mercy of God with you. They didn't try to clean you. We can't clean people. It's the Holy Spirit's job to clean them. We're, we're sent out as sowers. The Bible says that we went out to sow seed. And some seed, I'm sure you know the parable, fell among the path. And other seed fell among thorns. And some other seed fell among rocks. And some of that word fell among good soil. And it produced so that's what your job is to do. Sow that seed in love and mercy and let it go and encourage them. Yeah, you can say that there is punishment for sin, but don't let that be your open line. You know, you, you don't open it. Oh, you're a one-liner like that. Um, but pray and ask God, the Father, for the love of Christ to put in your heart before you go out and minister and minister with with love and grace and mercy and with power in the holy spirit pray for you can ask the holy spirit for words of knowledge and you can come out the lord will tell you their names and it's i've done that several times the lord has intervened and gave me the names of of, of the people i was speaking to i haven't never ever met um there are times that you may come up and there'll be demonics expressing out or they'll be manifesting cast them out in love um, and then be prepared to minister the gospel to them afterwards. But the motivation should be love, not out of duty. And um, when you get that down, then you can go out and preach the gospel. But I encourage you to go preach the word. And there's many Christians that's never, I shouldn't say many, but there's some Christians, some believers, they've never shared the gospel in their life. Or if they did, it was weak and uh, they gave up. I encourage you, don't give up, pray, and ask the Lord to put in you a, a, a spirit, the Holy Spirit of love, and to be a soul winner. The Bible also declares that he that wins souls is wise and shall shine as the stars. And it's the greatest in the kingdom is he who is servant of all. You know, people, they idolize the, the, the they, they say they're prophets or they're pastors or evangelists or whatever the claim they may be, reverence. 
they're not necessarily the greatest in the kingdom. They are serving. If their heart is pure, yeah, they will receive a crown of life and a crown and rewards. But if it's done out of self-motivation, if it's done out of things that are not in Christ, their works will be burned up, just like everybody else's. So don't be worshiper or praise or lift people up. Pastors need prayer, just like you and I and everybody else. Don't lift them up. Lift Jesus up. Love the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. Love the church. Love people. And for some folks, it's it's hard. They don't have the love. You write. You don't have it. You need it in place by the power of the Holy Spirit to, to fill you with his with agape love. And I'm going to tell you right now, God loves you. Even though you, you may have ministered the gospel in error or wrong, God will, will he'll help you. He correct you. But do it in the spirit of the Holy Spirit in love. And you'll see great results. Not everybody's going to want to hear the gospel. Let them go. Just spread it. Don't force the word. And others, most of them, are saying, I never heard it said like that. Or I never um, gave, was given the opportunity like you're given it. So keep it simple. And most of all, teach and preach the word with love, not a sword. Take care. And that's a word for today. God bless.